The final preparations are underway on board HMCS Algonquin for one of the biggest events in that ship's naval history. Saturday, Algonquin will host the Governor General and serve as the reviewing platform for her as she takes part in the International Fleet Review. All part of the Navy Centennial Celebration, thousands of visiting sailors and close to two dozen ships will take part in the event, which will celebrate the Navy's moment in our country's history. Today, the ship's crew invited A-News aboard as they readied the destroyer for what promises to be a busy and memorable weekend. Rear Admiral Tyrone Pyle is one of many official visitors who will be aboard HMCS Algonquin this Saturday. Her Excellency, the Governor General of Canada, our Commander-in-Chief, uh, will have arrived and will be the reviewing officer on board HMCS Algonquin. She will be reviewing all of the ships at anchor on Saturday. Algonquin is a destroyer intended to command ships at sea. It's not engineered as a review ship, so a few modifications have been made. We removed a, a searchlight where you see that chair and in place we've got a, a seat for the Governor General so that she will sit prominently forward on the bridge alone so that she can be clearly identified by the other ships so they know where to direct their salute. Algonquin's captain says the Governor General will be accompanied by about 40 dignitaries. The ship is getting some new paint and a good cleaning. And tons of supplies are being loaded aboard from onions to oil. It's an organizational effort that takes the entire ship's company to manage. The spaces are quite small, so it takes a lot of coordination between our ration clerk and the chief cook. Immediately following the fleet review, Algonquin will join dozens of other ships in one of the largest military exercises in the world, RIMPAC. There are nine cooks on board Algonquin getting ready for RIMPAC, and being a cook on this particular ship is a little bit different because you have to make the 3,000 eggs in the morning, but you also have to be prepared to make meals fit for a VIP. You have to be adaptable. You do mess dinners, which can be very basic, or one that we did recently was very high-end. It's not just basic stew and potatoes like a lot of people might assume military cooking is. Soup is a staple aboard Algonquin, and the ship's cooks are always looking for ways to spice things up. We, we Google soup recipes like crazy, yeah, absolutely. Like, we get some random things, and it's like, what are we going to do with this? I'll quickly Google something. With a dozen foreign ships and some 8,000 sailors coming to Victoria, CFB Esquimalt will be a busy place over the next few days, and Algonquin will be at the center of it all as the Navy celebrates its moment in Canadian history. At CFB Esquimalt, Eric Thompson, A News.